everybody. How are we doing? Hey, I'm Tyson. So, as I adjust this, uh, so I have a one woman show. I'm going to perform it in its entirety right now. Just kidding. There we go, Jesus Christ. Uh, it's Tuesday night at 7 p.m. It's at the pit. Um, sorry for advertising a competing theater. <laughs> Uh, tell me. Um, so I've been hard at work at that uh, and didn't feel like writing anything this week, uh, but I have been working on another project a little quietly. Uh, it's a gay erotic novel. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I'm going to do uh, just a quick reading from some sections to that just to give you a taste test for who I am. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> What you should know about me is my name is Luke Trevor and I fuck. <laughs> Luke Trevor is my real name, not my porn name. My porn name was Max Triple X Force. I spent eight months in Arizona wrestling in thongs and baby oil where my character Max never saw the dick coming. <laughs> Who does, you know? <laughs> My wife kicked me out when she found the video where Max's math professor caught him, um, uh, taught him about inequalities with his unfair cock. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Pennsylvania. <laughs> that had fallen as I drifted I-95, blasting KMFDM and biting chunks off of a Slim Jim. <laughs> Thank you, guy from Pennsylvania. <laughs> um, I needed to sleep. I had been crying, but I wasn't going to sleep on the highway. I didn't do that anymore. <laughs> okay, in this next section, uh, uh, our protagonist has found himself in uh, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. The tattered pride flag flapped in the night, discolored by sun and sin. It was all that demarcated a stone-colored door in a warehouse with blacked-out windows. I stopped before it and cracked my knuckles. I realized I had no condoms. Good. <laughs> Uh, before I approached, the door swung open, and a woman poured out in a viscous spread of regret. <laughs> There's a woman I had seen on the side of the road before, who up close was clearly a man uh, in a wig, with his nails and lips painted black, a Hillary Clinton wig specifically, and two black pleather platform shoes. She croaked, light my cigarette, you Aryan twink, and then vomited. <laughs> Is it <laughs> Is it Tuesday or did I shit the bed? <laughs> it's Tuesday, I offered. <laughs> Good, I can't afford new sheets. She, <laughs> she waved the cigarette in my face. Don't get the lighter too close to me. I laughed. Because you're so soaked in booze, you'll catch fire? No, she responded. I've been known to have butane. <laughs> <laughs> she took a long drag and ashed. This is an extravagant way to hate myself, she said. I scratched the back of my head. So, uh, can I get into this gay bar? <laughs> she laughed. This gay bar isn't for faggots. <laughs> she spit on her own boot. <laughs> well, I'm a top, I lied. <laughs> Nobody's a top. Nobody has the spine anymore, she said. <laughs> Tossing the cigarette butt, butt into her puke. <laughs> what are you even doing here? Nobody biting on Grinder because you look like the bait in the pedophile sting? <laughs> My wife threw me out when she found out I did porn in Arizona. Better than doing meth, she said. She coughed dust like an asthmatic coal miner and gruffly swung the door open into a short, dark corridor that ended in a blackout curtain. What's your name, I asked. Travesty, she said. Just travesty. <laughs> no puns, it's just accurate. <laughs> she sauntered in without holding the door for me. The curtain opened into a cavernous bar with low ceilings that smelled like taint and talcum powder. Smoke machines ran like air conditioners. Mm. If I couldn't fuck my way into some Hicks recliner, I'd be wasting the cock God gave me. <laughs> In this next section, uh, he has uh, gotten into some Hicks recliner, as it were. Um, and Michael is the go-go boy that works with Travis Dean. 
Michael keyed into a blank apartment with a single blazing overhead light. There was no art, no dishes, no magnets on the refrigerator. A featureless space, like a black box theater for sin. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought a girl that, col uh, that colorful would live in a place like this, I said. Michael laughed. Travesty doesn't live here. Traveling, I asked, where from? She's a sad, fat man who lives out of a suitcase. <laughs> she comes uh, through towns like the stench of trash on a breeze. So, Secaucus, I joked. <laughs> he kissed me hard like a slap in the mouth with his tongue. <laughs> okay, I said. <laughs> he ran his hands under my shirt and over the lumps of my muscles. His hands skittered like horny bugs across the ripples of my <laughs> over my hips and down my ass. <laughs> he squeezed me lightly as he uh, bit my lip. A bite like he had bitten into something that was too hot. His hair smelled like oil. <laughs> we stumbled backwards into the bedroom, a hurricane of heavy petting. <laughs> we tore each other's shirts off like corn husks, although we were both sh uh, hairless. <laughs> he had a ribcage tattoo, and I was horny for it. <laughs> He uh, tossed me down and stood over me, uh, shirtless and in sweatpants. He smirked at me in a sexy way, a smirk that said, Yeah, I've got a hard penis. <laughs> <laughs> he yanked his pants down and revealed that he certainly did. An intentional member that stood so ramrod it could pin down a railroad. <laughs> I took his manhood like it, uh, it was a pomegranate and I was Persephone. <laughs> Send me to hell with your cock. <laughs> <laughs> he dicked me in the mouth for a while, <laughs> pawing the back of my head like he was consoling me, which made sense. It took a lot of courage to handle that rocket. He came, <laughs> he came like white lightning over my bare, muscular chest and pecs, <laughs> moaning like an orgasming whale. <laughs> he found a scrap of paper towel to, for me to wipe myself off with. Careful, there's some hot sauce on there, he said. <laughs> and laid back in bed. I know this is cliche of me, he said, lighting a cigarette. <laughs> but please leave. <laughs> Alright, come see my show this uh, Tuesday night. Yeah!